previously on the Canopy Challenge. Uh, All right, I'm 85 doing... bucks, I'm out. You're doing it for 85 bucks? 85 bucks. Yeah. Oh my so... God, Caleb's the first one out, folks. <laughs> Caleb. Oh, oh. Let's spin that <laughs> wheel. Oh, excuse me, sorry, spin the wheel. <laughs> Let's spin the wheel. wheel. Sorry. Oh my God, what's it gonna be? Oh, he has to walk through <laughs> Penn Square Mall barefoot. Oh, <laughs> Reporting live, MJ Cassiano. It's another punishment day. Here is my good friend Caleb Knuckles, who, as you all know, finished dead last in the Canopy Challenge. We're at the busiest mall in America. It's Friday night, about 6:30. Everyone's off work, and everyone's at the mall. Caleb, what's going through your head right now? Uh, I'm just gonna get stretched out, and then I'll be ready, ready to rock and roll. You got a strategy? Yeah. I'm gonna beeline from point A, point B, back to point A. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> all right. Yeah, beeline, that's it. Straight Let's... in, straight out. If there's any confrontation at all, I'm gonna use the old cell phone trick. I'm gonna pull it out back like, what, that's it? And then, <laughs> you know, try and uh, whittle my way out of it. All right. Let's see what happens. Caleb, anything on there that worries you? It was at this moment that Caleb questioned everything. We're appropriate clothing. It covers the no shirt, no shoes policy. Other than that, I think we're good. All right, Caleb's, Caleb's taking them off. What's going through your head? Well, I mean, these flip-flops have been through a lot. Yeah, I hate to see them go right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hating them to Crystal. All I right, Caleb, have AIDS. let's go have fun. <laughs> Caleb had literally only been barefoot for five seconds. Yet, that didn't stop people from forming a line and watching him. What do you think about my man going barefoot? I think it's going to be feet are going to be pretty nasty. Man. <laughs> Caleb, you're like barely two minutes in. What? I know, I got 150 feet in and people are just staring at me like I'm freaking uh, a, a child abductor or something. <laughs> this is uh, it's a little rough and rougher than I thought it was going to be. Um, you, got any, you got any stains on those bad boys yet? Not yet. No. <laughs> by far the most disgusting and most humiliating thing I've ever done. Sober. <laughs> so what's, what's crazy is like the uh, the younger crowd, they don't even notice it. They've been walking by me, they don't even notice it. But the older crowd, they're like zoning in right on my feet. Like, it's just, it's like your grandma like staring at you. Like. Uh, those things are not gonna be very nice come uh, an hour from now. All right, we're about five minutes in and Golly jeepers, those things are already starting to look pretty disgusting. Look at the dirt on his big toe. <laughs> I'd, I'd honestly be, like, rather be in jail right now. This is not fun. <laughs> this is disgusting. Here with Crystal Knuckle, wife of Caleb Knuckles. What's it going to take for you to suck ranch off his big toe tonight? Uh, nothing at all. We will never do that, especially since he's walking around this mall. <laughs> What's Have you seen the people here? <laughs> What's it gonna take for you to give him a foot massage as soon as we uh, sit down on that bench over there? Can I wear gloves? No. <laughs> then nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caleb said you had to go to the bathroom. There it is. We interrupt this program to bring you this important message. And it's time for the IT Help Desk with MJ. All right, let's go ahead and get this printed and print. An error code. Let's have IT MJ take a look at this, shall we? You gotta go harder than that. And that was the IT Help Desk with MJ. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Caleb, how you feeling there, guy? Hang in there.
I don't think that Caleb will be going back to Auntie Anne's anytime soon. Alright Caleb, what'd you bring? Pretzels for everyone. Right. Sharon. I asked Caleb to go try on an expensive pair of Yeezys, but he didn't quite make it that far. What, what did they just say to you? I just asked if I could try on shoes, and yeah, that was pretty humiliating. He was <laughs> like, dude, you gotta get out of that nasty stuff. I told Caleb that his punishment was over, and we could head outside for his exit interview. But we didn't see the next part coming. Oh, yeah. This is so bad. <laughs> so bad. Alright, we're done with this crap. <laughs> Those things are just absolutely grotesque. Blister popped. Yeah. Caleb, what's, what's going through your head right now? It's been a tough day. I deserve a uh, pretzel. All right, Caleb, you've done your duties. I think it's time for Crystal to uh, toss you those bad boys back. All right, thank you. You're free. Thank God that's over with. All right, guys, another punishment down. Caleb, thank you for being a great sport. Fortunately, those feet, uh, it's going to take a while to get clean. Yeah, petty time coming up for me. <laughs> what were some of your concerns, and, and what's what's your afterthoughts on this today? So uh, the worst part is just people seeing you, and, and you wonder what's going through their head. Like, you, you think that they probably think that you're like a drug addict or something, <laughs> like deranged individual. Literally everybody was staring at him. I felt so bad for him, his face kept getting just bright red. Yeah, I kept sweating like so bad, yeah. I thought we were gonna get kicked out at least like five times. All right, stay tuned for more punishments and more challenges coming your way. MJ Cassiano, reporting live. All right, that is it. Go home and shower. Reporting live, MJ Cassiano here.